Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are watching this video after seeing the previous one on formatting our papers in Google Docs. If this is the first video you're watching and have not seen the previous, that is fine as well. So this video I am going to try to keep it as short and sweet as possible because I hope that this is a reviewer for many of us, right? A refresher on how to format our papers in MLA. So what you will see here, and this is set up almost exactly the way that you will see it in regular Microsoft Word on your own computer. This just happens to be the online version that many schools are using now. So the first thing that you'll notice here is that this is an essay. And if you actually look at the text, this is a meta essay. It's an essay about an essay. That is, it's an essay about the formatting. And so the first thing that we want to do here is make sure that our essay has the correct header. We start up top with our first and last name. I am pretending here that Matthew McConaughey is in my class, so I have his first and last name listed here. On the next line, I have my own name listed. This is where you will put your teacher, your instructor, your professor's name for that class. On the third line, we have the name of the course. And so if you're in middle or high school, this might be the period of the class. It might be period three or period five. But if you're in college, you will list the abbreviation for the course, the number of the course, and ideally the section as well. Because when your instructors, lecturers, professors are grading your work, they oftentimes have already collected a 100 or more essays and sometimes things can get jumbled or lost. And so having that section number listed makes the process much easier for everyone. And then finally here we have the date. Please notice that the day is listed as the number, the month is written out, and then we have the year in the number form as well, the numeral. On the next line we have our title before the actual essay begins. Okay, so in terms of formatting, our header looks perfectly fine. There are, however, many other issues. So the first thing you want to do is select everything. And up here, you want to click where the font is and go to Times New Roman and set this to 12. Every essay in MLA should be in Times New Roman 12. Oftentimes, Microsoft Word will default to Arial or Calibri and typically font size 11, so please make sure you check that first. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your title is centered. So please do not click before the title and just start pressing the space button. If you do that, you will never get to the middle of that page. So what you want to do is just highlight the title, and up here you'll see five lines with a drop down. It says text alignment. If you click on that, you will have four options. There's left align, center align, right align, and just justify. So our header here is left aligned, but we want our title to be center aligned. So we'll highlight it and just click where it says align center. Next, we want to highlight all of the paragraphs in the essay itself. And we click on the same button up here, text alignment. But what we're going to select this time is justify, the fourth option. Because as you might notice, each of these lines here are jagged. It looks kind of messy, a little bit unprofessional. And so the moment you select all of those paragraphs and click justify, they will all end at precisely the same point. So make sure you watch this. It's going to happen quickly. Perfect, just like that. They all end at the same spot. It looks very neat and orderly. Next, if your essay actually relies on external research, outside sources, you're going to have a works cited page. And this should be on a separate page. So right before it says works cited, you can press control and enter. This will move it to a new page. Works cited, of course, must be centered, just like our title. And each of our entries here should be justified just like the paragraphs. That is, they will all end at precisely the same spot. Next, and we don't have enough time in this video to discuss it, but in terms of formatting that works cited page, please remember that if an entry has two or more lines, that each of the lines after the first should be indented. 
Okay, so we are almost done. The next thing you want to do is just select everything on both of those pages, and we are going to set the spacing, right? We want this essay to be double spaced with no spacing before or after. So we're going to come up here and click where it says layout. Over here, we will click the three little dots for more options and go to paragraph options. From here, we want to set our before spacing to zero and we want to set our after spacing to zero as well. Then we want to set our line spacing to double. So it should look just like this, zero before, zero after, and double line spacing. Then we can hit OK. Now it has reformatted the spacing here. And finally, we want to make sure that we have the correct margins. This is typically done for us by default, but up here in the layout um, section of the navigation bar, you can click on margins. And of course, we see one inch for the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. So that is perfect. The only final thing that we need to add is the page number. So over here, you'll click on insert, page numbers, and up here, you'll hit the top right picture. And this is what you'll see. This looks a little bit weird. This is basically Microsoft Word saying that you are going to display whatever page that is. And that's perfectly fine. But what you want to do here first is add your last name plus a space. So in this case, this is Matthew McConaughey's essay. So we're going to type his name there, his last name. Next, please remember, because everything should be in Times New Roman, we will simply select it. Once again, Times New Roman 12. And here where it says Options, we want to click Different First Page. When we do that, you will see that it disappears. You can double click anywhere else. That header is empty now on the first page. But if you go to subsequent pages, you will see it listed there for you. Okay? So with that, happy writing. I hope this video was as painless as possible for you.